Hi everyone, Honix operating systems is one of the best operating systems to keep you anonymous and enhance your privacy while you browse the internet. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install and how to use Honix on your Kali Linux machine. Also, I'm gonna show you some important post-installation steps that you need to make so that to make the most out of your Honix installation. So let's start. The first step is to make sure that VirtualBox is installed on your Kali Linux machine because Honix depends on it. If you already have VirtualBox installed, you can skip this step and go directly to the next step, which is downloading the Honix OVA. Now let me show you quickly how to install VirtualBox on your Kali machine. If you want more details on this, I have made previously a video about it. You can check it out in the description. So to install VirtualBox on your Kali Linux machine, open the terminal window and in the terminal window, key in this command, sudo apt install virtualbox linux dash headers dash generic and press enter and put the password for your user and virtualbox will be installed. Now also you need to install the virtualbox extension pack. So let's install it. So it is sudo apt install virtualbox dash ext dash pack and hit enter and virtualbox extension pack will be installed so now that virtualbox is installed and its extension pack is also installed let me show you the next step which is downloading the hunix ova to download the hunix ova open the web browser on your kali machine here i have firefox and then in the address bar go to hunix.org click on download now and choose virtualbox and here click on download Hunix XFCE and wait for the download button to be available here. And now it's available, so click on it and Hunix will be downloaded. So it is a 2.2 gigabytes file. I downloaded it earlier and I'm gonna use the version that I downloaded. So the next step is to launch VirtualBox and to import the Hunix OVA into VirtualBox. So let's open VirtualBox and here you need to click on file and then import appliance and then here you need to click next to file on this icon so that you browse your file system and then go to downloads folder so this is where we downloaded the Honix OVA select it and then click on open on the bottom and now click on next and here simply all you have to do is to click on finish so this is a license agreement that you should agree to feel free to read it and then click on agree and agree once again and now the importing of the OVA is in progress as you see here just give it a moment to finish so in case you didn't work on Honix before Honix is made of two virtual machines the gateway and the workstation and this operation will import both the gateway and the workstation and here it is finished now so now at this stage the creation of the virtual machines of Honix was completed now i'm gonna show you what you need to set up on these virtual machines and then we're gonna launch them and i'm gonna show you how to use them so as post installation steps the first thing you need to do here is to make sure that these virtual machines have enough hardware resources so that they can run smoothly and this is depending on the host machine that you have how much for instance memory it has so here my pc has 32 gigabytes of ram and when you import these virtual machines they come imported like with the minimal ram so for them to function so let's click on the gateway first and let's click on settings and when you click on settings here click on system and let's see how much memory it has so it has only 1280 megabytes of ram i'm gonna give it two gigabytes of ram so this is the slider here i'm gonna slide it to two gigabytes and this is two gigabytes and this is the only thing you need to do on both machines so i'm gonna click on ok and i'm gonna go to the workstation now so the workstation this is a virtual machine where all your work will happen so it's better to give it at least four gigabytes if your host machine allows it so also i clicked on system and then here it has only two gigabytes so i'm gonna get the slider to four gigabytes and here it is at four gigabytes so let's click on ok so now let's start the machines and in Honix, you need always to start the gateway first, wait for it to start, and then you start the workstation. So select the gateway and then click on start. 
and just wait for it to start don't touch anything and here it is starting and it's giving you here what are the credentials that you need in case you want to change these credentials for instance or in case you want to log off and then log back in so here it's telling you that the username is user and the password there's no password so click on ok and the first time you start the gateway it will connect to the Tor network so here you need to give it its time to connect to the Tor network it takes approximately from one to three minutes to finish this connection so here it was very fast so it finished the connection so click ok here and let's minimize the gateway and now let's start the workstation so i'm gonna double click on it to start it also wait for it to start so here's the workstation started let me get rid of these messages also and it gives you the same splash screen when it starts so the user default user is user and the password there's no password so let's click ok and it will go now and it will connect to the tor network automatically also you don't have to do anything and here it is connected to the tor network so let me click on ok so now i want to show you the second post installation important step that you need to do so that to secure better your hunix installation so we need to assign a password for the user because as you noticed the user has a blank password and we need to do this on both the workstation and the gateway i'm gonna start with the workstation so let's open the terminal to do this and this is a command that we need to put sudo password user and hit enter and it will ask you to assign a new password for the user so let's put a strong password and we need to confirm it and hit enter and now the user has a password so let's switch to the gateway to do the same thing so the password is now changed on both the gateway and the workstation and it is worth mentioning that even though you change and you assign the password for the user the startup of both the workstation and the gateway will remain automatic and it will log in directly so now i'm gonna show you how to browse the internet with honix so in two words when you browse the internet in Hunix, you need always to browse it from the workstation and the gateway its only job is to relay the information from the workstation to the internet through the Tor network. So this way it will isolate the workstation and it will become very hard on any hacker or anyone to access your workstation. So let's open the web browser on the workstation and it is here. It is based on the Tor web browser. And I'm gonna go to my website, which is knowledgesharingtech.com. And here it is working. So here I'm gonna open a new tab so that we can go to what is my IP address. And I am located in Canada. Let's see what is the IP that it will gonna give us. So it's a random IP depending on the Tor network. So here you see that it gave me an IP from Canada so that the browsing will be faster, but it is like far, far from where I live in Canada and it's a different IP from my ISP. So the installation succeeded. If you want to know more about the Honix system and how it works, leave me a comment in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to answer all your questions and all your comments. If you liked my video, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. I want to thank you all for watching and see you in the next video.